Hey everyone, welcome back to FIT. I'm Adrienne. Today's class is a 10 minute core focused ab sculpting workout. Having a strong core is really important. It's gonna help everything else that we do. There's some advanced challenging moves in this class and maybe some moves that you haven't tried before. So come to the top of your mat. And from here, we're gonna roll down, take the chin to the chest, roll the hands down to the floor, walk it out into a high plank and hold. Pull the tummy muscles up and in, then bend the knees, walk it in, and roll it up. Again, roll down. Walk it out, high plank. Take a breath. Walk it in. Roll it up. Let's get one more. Try to get those hips in line so they're not too low, not too high. We're gonna go into a slow mountain climber. So you pull one knee up, all the way up to the elbow, slow and controlled. Start to activate, switch on the core muscles. Good, trying to stabilize so the hips don't rock and roll. And breathe, don't hold your breath. All right, from here, we're gonna lift those hips into a down dog, push the hips back, and then bring them forwards again and find your high plank. Again, take it back. Good, bring the shoulders over the wrists and back. One more, hips back, high plank and relax. Nice work. Okay, flip it over. So we're gonna come over onto laying on your back. And from here, you're gonna lift the legs into a tabletop position. So heels are low, don't have the feet too high. And if your knees are close to the chest, it's gonna be easier. Take the knees further away. And from here, we're just gonna hold that position for 10 seconds. So while you're here, pull the core in, tummy button to the spine, hold it. Good, so those core muscles should be switching on now. We're gonna lift up, reach with the fingertips, reach past the thighs, hold. Make sure you still have a space between the chin and the chest. Don't crunch up in the shoulders, wide collarbone, and don't hold your breath. From here, we're gonna pulse, so we reach up, up, keeping those legs still. Keep it up, 10 more seconds. Keep pulsing. All right, take the head and neck and shoulders back. Do not drop the legs. Extend the legs up, heels together, knees together. You can have a slight bend in the knees, that's fine, but try and keep those legs up. All right, from here, we're gonna do a single leg extension. So I take one leg away, my right leg goes down, then it comes up. Same leg now, goes down and up, down, and up. Keep it going with the same leg. Two more. One more. Change legs. If you want to add a burn, lift. Lift the shoulders, lift the head. Keep that core pulled down, down, down. Pull the tummy button into the spine. If your neck or your jaw is tense, Use the hands to support the head. Keep it up for three, two, one, and relax, nice work. Okay, we're gonna flip it over into a plank. Okay, from here, I'm going to an elbow plank. So come into that position. Then from here, we're gonna bend the knees and extend. Slow and controlled, again, the small movements are really challenging. Bend the knees, extend. Bend, extend. Good, keeping those hips in line. If they start to creep up here, that's not it. Long line. Good, when you exhale, relax your jaw. Good, keep that going, 10 more seconds. Three, two, 
One, relax, nice work. All right, flip it back. Okay, from here, we're going into a diamond leg ab crunch. So bring the heels together. Same as before, if your heels are high and your knees are here, take them two inches further away. And from here, we lift and we pulse. Take the hands just outside the knees. Good, keep those heels pressed together. Keep reaching two inches further. Now do not drop those legs, I know it's tempting. 20 more seconds of work, keep going. Good, wrap around, pull that core in. Last five, four, three, two, one, and rest, nice work. Okay, from here, flip it over to the side and we're gonna go into an elbow plank. So, bring the shoulder over the elbow, stack the feet one on top of the other, reach up with the arm and hold. Good, don't let the hips drop. Halfway through, we're gonna switch to the other side without dropping the knees or the hips. Hold. Three, two, one. Okay, remember to take the elbow down, switch over, other side, hold it. Good, keep breathing. Really challenging for the obliques, working that waist. Three, two, one, nice work. All right, relax. Okay, from here, take it back onto your back. We are almost there, we have got two moves to go. From here, we're gonna bring both of our elbows to touch the knees, then we extend the legs away. Now, when you come in, both elbows touch the knees. When you go back, if you take the legs higher, it's gonna be easier. If you take the legs lower, going to be way more challenging and again this is not about speed the slower the better good use your hands to support the head elbows touch the knees every time make sure they touch It burns. Keep it going. Three, two, one. All right, take a little breather and watch me for demo. So for this one, we are gonna twist from an ab bicycle. I take the elbow to the knee and I touch the knee. Then I rotate onto my side. Heels stay off, heels stay together. Back, same elbow to knee, then the other side. So twist, elbow to knee, extend, slow and controlled, ouch. Take it out, twist, over. Yes, I'm wobbling. I'm working hard to stabilize the core. Elbows to knee, out, twist. Ha! 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and breathe. Relax. Woo, how do you feel? Ah, I'm gonna stretch out those abs. You can sit up, take the hands back, take the chin up, stretch it out. Ooh, feel the burn. Ah, all right. Reach up, stretch it over to the side. And some of those moves are advanced, but as I gave you options, you can make it harder, you can modify it. So if you've done it a few times, you get used to it and you really wanna challenge yourself, take the legs a bit lower or repeat some of the moves for a little bit longer. All right, roll the shoulders back and down. Ah, well done, loved it. Short and sweet, core burner. I definitely felt the burn and I hope you did too. See ya.